Today's video is going to be one of the last in the series, in the first series of practicing with the mouthpiece only, practicing our buzz. And today we're going to be focusing on two exercises to improve your low register. First, I'm going to explain to you the movements that you should have in your embouchure. Then I'm going to give you those exercises and you're going to practice them at home. But hey, before we get started, if this is the first time we meet, my name is Raf and on this channel, we've been focusing on the basics of playing the trombone, of playing brass instruments in general actually, and we're going to continue practicing and talking and explaining all those fundamentals and gradually we're going to progress into more intermediate things and to more advanced things in our playing. So if you're new here, please consider subscribing to the channel. So the low register, what is happening here in our mouthpiece when we play low? I've explained it in some previous videos when we're talking about buzzing, but as um, repetition is the mother of skill. I'm going to explain it to you again one last time. So basically, when you go in the lower register, the vibration should come mostly from your lower, your bottom lip, right? So uh, with the mouthpiece, what that's going to create is a little shift like this. I'm exaggerating now to show you properly, but this is what's going to happen. So it's going to be like, what you don't want to do is just open your mouth. This is a very big misconception about playing low uh, register. And this is why a lot of people lose the center of the note. This is what I had to learn also by myself because I was making this mistake before is to just open the mouth so that both lip vibrate more. But this is not how you get a good centered sound in the low register. What you need to do is just shift um, your jaw like this. Ooh. Ooh. I'm exaggerating, of course, so that you can understand. So let's get to the first exercise. I'm just going to give us a B flat. Okay. What we're going to do, what we're going to do is that we're going to take this B flat and we're going to go down gradually and we're going to do a glissando. So two things. The first thing is when you practice at home, you start on the B flat and then you start on an A, you go a same step lower and lower and lower every time. One thing that you can do that I didn't demonstrate on the video is to practice with a tuner and put a little drone on it. Um, I use this TM40 by Korg. I'll link it down below. I think it's just 20 euros or something. There's also some apps on your iPhone and on your iPad. There's actually some great apps that I'm going to review on this channel for practicing. But I find that most of the time when I have my iPhone uh, using it as a metronome or as a tuner or my iPad, I kind of get distracted by the screen. And, you know, it might happen that you just 
you know, click on something and just check your Facebook for five seconds, but the five seconds turn into 10 minutes or whatever. So just using one of those simple devices can be good. So what you do is you just put a note on it. So I'm putting it uh, a B flat, it's on 442. And you just do the exercise. <laughs> just so that you make sure that you don't lose the pitch. The second thing that I want to tell you about this exercise, when you breathe, I don't know if you've noticed, if not, you can rewind the video if you want, um, breathe from the side. We're gonna be talking a lot about breathing in some future videos, but just for now, I'd really recommend that you breathe from the side, like this, so that you keep the position of the mouthpiece. Now, I was taught from the very start, I, I started playing when I was like seven, but I was playing the euphonium, the baritone, because uh, I was too small for euphonium. I was taught by a tuba teacher and playing the tuba with those mouthpieces, they are taught to breathe from below. Because they have a much bigger mouthpiece. And I actually had this bad habit for a long, 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 long time. And that really damaged my playing because we don't need to when we play the trombone. Our mouthpieces aren't big. Even if you play on a 1G or a half a G, um, it, it, you know, you can still breathe on the side so that you don't lose that position. And if you have to do a quick breath, you're right on the position and you don't crack your note. So that's just a little tip. It's kind of outside of the scope of today's subject, but I thought it was important to mention it. Okay, let's go to the second exercise. So the second exercise is just going to be going down fourth. So from B flat to F, and then going down a semitone each time. <laughs> etc 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 um, going down half a step each time do it at home as low as you can go and a little bonus e bonus exercise is actually going down the um, fourths and then the octave <laughs> sorry with the glissando <laughs> continuing to go down and down. One thing that I didn't mention is gonna be the last thing on this video actually. Think no pressure. So be careful how you hold the mouthpiece, just two fingers. And you'll notice that if you press a little too much, it's just not going to work. And actually it's the same thing on the trombone. So you wanna press just enough so that there's no air coming out of the sides and on the bottom or the top or whatever. But um, don't put, put as less pressure as possible, otherwise you're going to block the vibration. And <clears throat> when we go down in the low register, our vibration, the vibration of our lip, our bottom lip, is going to be larger. So we need to give it space. And to give it space, you need to really put as little pressure as possible. So to exaggerate... <sighs> you know, like I'm putting it away just so that you can see and you can practice that and really go to the minimum pressure possible now if i press just to show you the bad example i really can't go down too much i'm exaggerating a little bit for for the example but these are some things to think about so really constant air, a lot of air, we talked about it on the mouthpiece, you need a lot of air so that you can replicate the same process when you go back to the trombone and add this little bit of um, 
uh, resistance coming from the instrument. The second thing is the movement. It's not opening the mouth. It's actually the jaw going a little bit forward. And the third thing is minimum pressure as possible. Practice going as low as possible. Please give me your questions in the comments of this description below. And before I depart, I just want to tell you that I have just started a new Patreon page um, where you can support the channel in exchange. I will send you some warm-up booklets and some etudes and some pieces and a whole bunch of goodies every single month. And yeah, it would be a great support so that I can continue making those videos here. Um, and yeah, that's it for today. So have a good practice and I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.